Welcome back, cooks, to our fluffy buttermilk waffles lesson. We'll start off with a small bowl. We're going to actually need our butter first. So this is unsalted butter. We're going to only use just a tablespoon of unsalted butter, but you need this melted. There will be lines on the packaging, so you can cut a tablespoon exactly. You can put this in the microwave for about five seconds at a time. Bring it out, and it looks melted like this. Remember, it has to be melted butter. We're also going to use Krusty's Buttermilk. This is actually pancake mix, but you can use it for waffles. You'll need one cup of pancake mix sifted. Use whatever kind you like. As you can see, we have our bowl here. And we're going to go ahead and just sift this out. This stuff sits in the packaging in the store. Therefore, you're going to want to sift out any contaminants. If any, just shake slowly over a bowl. We'll go ahead and speed the video up as we're just sifting out the mix. Once done, we'll go ahead and we'll grab our one large medium bowl. We're going to go ahead and mix in our wet ingredients now. We have our one large egg. We'll crack this and put this in first. We're also going to go ahead and we're going to need one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. So down here, here's our measurement. We're going to want one fourth cup of this. Use what you have at your store. We like to just use the heavy whipping cream you can get at any store. But again, pick whatever brand you choose. We'll go ahead and pour this in. Then next up, we're going to have a half cup of plant-based creamer. We like to use oat, almond, coconut, soy. Use whatever you prefer. But again, we're only going to use a half cup of this. So we'll go ahead and pour that in as well. If you like a different flavor, not a problem. Use whatever you want. Again, this just adds flavor. And we'll go ahead and also grab our one tablespoon of unsalted melted butter. Remember guys, we made this earlier. We'll go ahead and pour that in as well. We'll grab a whisk and this is quick and easy. You can also have the kids or family involved as we're gonna pour in our dry mix now that we sifted out earlier. And we're going to whisk this all together. Let's mix in our dry and wet ingredients. We'll speed the video up as we're just going to get this to a nice mixture. We've got that all mixed up, cooks. We're going to add in our two teaspoons of Madagascar vanilla bean extract. Use whatever kind you like. Again, we're going to make just simple waffles here. So we're going to put two teaspoons of this in. Also, if you want to add other flavors like pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon or cinnamon toast crunch, which we have here, or Twix, go ahead. Again, it is to your liking. Flavor your waffles how you want. These we're going to keep pretty plain and just go ahead and quickly mix this so it comes to this nice texture. You want it to be a little thick. That way it will fit in your waffle maker without being runny. Now here's our waffle iron. We have two sides to it, as you can see. Wall waffle irons are different, but when you first get them, you will want to get a little oil on them. You won't oil this every time, just the first time you use it and follow your waffle maker's instructional manual. Our waffle maker has a red light, an indicator, which we can see it'll be warming up on both sides. And it'll also turn green once it's ready or your waffle's cooked. Ours has a lock as well. Most of your waffles will be anywhere from two to three minutes to cook. They cook very, very fast. And we're back. As you can see, our green indicator light is on. They're both on. This lets us know this is nice and hot. Be careful, cooks. When you unlock and open, there will be some steam, so be careful. Now, you want to grab a tablespoon. Remember, your mixture should have a little bit of thickness to it. As you see, you don't want the consistency to be too runny or too thick. I always start off by testing your waffle maker. And what we mean is, you'll want to start off only with about three tablespoons. Once you know your waffle maker, you can add more, but you don't want to overflow it. So example, we're going to do one side with just three tablespoons. And you'll want to start from the center and make sure you get some in each section and as it'll spread out when you clamp it down. 
you put too much in this will overflow your waffle maker and will make a mess so if this is your first time making waffles test out your waffle maker as all are different as you can see we're not going to fill out the edges we're just going to close it and that's going to make our mix go to the edge now we've used this one consistently Tay likes waffles not too too full I like my waffles to be full all the way so on this side I'm gonna go ahead and put in five scoops that way I know it can get to the outer edges so as you see we have four partitions we'll go ahead and put some in the center and then we'll use the back of our spoon to spread it out so that was about five spoonfuls and as you can see we're gonna spread it out as close as we can but not all the way to the edge and this is what you're looking for. I want to add one more little tablespoon in there just because I want it to be even. And this is how you can guarantee a full waffle at the end of your cook. Now, as you can see, we've gotten all the way to the outer rim. We're going to go ahead and smush this down. And when you get good at this, you won't have to worry about it spilling out all on the sides. We'll let this cook for about three or four minutes cooks we'll go ahead and unlock and there it is that is our perfect golden brown waffle we'll grab a serving plate grab our wood utensil and you want to pull these up now are separated but not a problem you can still pull them off and it'll make it into one piece on the plate now remember Tay likes her waffles a little bit crispier so we left hers in for about four minutes there's our waffle at about two and a half to three minutes, nice and golden brown. If you want it crispier, not a problem. We'll flip this one over. This one's in a little bit longer, but as you see, when we use three tablespoons, it didn't go to the outer edges, and we do have a much crispier waffle by leaving it in longer.